few movies have made such an impact on the populace as the movie we're going to talk about today. It's a movie that, when it came out, people just shrugged their shoulders at and said, you know, I'm probably not going to think about this movie ever again. But I'm telling you, you need to stop being closed-minded and weird and dorky and just open your mind and your heart and especially your eyes to the feast of a sensation that is the Fog remake. That's right, we're not talking about John Carpenter's The Fog. We're not talking about that ancient relic. We're talking about the remake, which had an all-star cast, had an all-star premise, and just had an all-star of scares. This is a movie that deserves to be reevaluated. I know we're always talking about, you know, Rob Zombie's Halloween, the Platinum Dunes classics, you know, but this is a movie that deserves to be in that discussion. You know, it's definitely one of the finest remakes that's ever featured a ghost, which I'm going to tell you, the ghost genre of films is not that good. It shined bright in the 2000s. That's when it really started to get rolling. You know, we had this. We had the Amityville Horror remake. We had, eventually, the Poltergeist remake. We had the Haunting remake in 99, which is a movie that started to get the ball rolling. That's a very scary, very good movie. But it took a bit for Hollywood to catch on and say, Hey, the people like that movie. Let's figure out a way to make it even cooler. And in comes the Fog remake. And it's the perfect movie, you know, in a sense of a remake. You take a movie that worked on no levels. And I'm talking about the Carpenter original. The movie didn't work. It had no atmosphere. It had no hot chicks. It just had a bunch of old timers in some kind of town where people fish and they're worried about a fog with these ghosts that don't even look like ghosts. They're just like shadow people. I see my shadow every day and I'm not afraid of it. So why would I be afraid of these things in this movie? But if you watch the fog remake, you see terrifying skeletal humanoid things walking around wreaking havoc to a seaside town and it had a heck of a twist at the end did the original have a heck of a twist no you could see it coming 5,000 miles away people were yawning people were waiting for it to end people were taking naps but if you watch this remake you were wide-eyed and invested. It had well-written characters. It had characters you actually wanted to look at, not just fall asleep to. And it delivered on the scares. This movie is worth your time. This movie is worth boutique Blu-ray company's time. I'm honestly shocked that Shout Factory hasn't made the announcement they're doing the Fog remake. Or, you know, maybe Vinegar Syndrome wants to finally come out there and put out something people really want to buy. But I can tell you, I have cash in hand. And I'm ready to buy a 4K of that movie with the slipcover. Or a hard case. I don't care how you put this one out. I'm going to buy it. And I'm going to look at it. I'm going to smile and I'm going to go, finally, this movie gets its due. People are taking it serious. And people are starting to turn around on this movie. It's very good. It's very scary. And if you are some kind of chump that isn't taking it serious, 
I really hope you get the mental health help you need because you need all the help you can get, my guy. But anyways, that's what I got for you. Comment down below. Tell me how much you love the Fog remake. And if you don't, tell me when you plan on reevaluating it. And while you're at it, give this video a like and be sure to subscribe. Until next time, keep slipping.